Hi students, in this module we'll be discussing about the abductor mechanism of hip. It is a apparatus or the mechanism by which we achieve abduction at hip. So the three components of this abductor mechanism is the fulcrum, the power and the liver arm. So if this is the acetabulum, this is the femoral head, the neck, the trochanter and the shaft, the hip joint constitutes the fulcrum, the neck of femur constitutes the liver arm and the greater trochanter along with the abductor muscles comprises the power. So here we have the fulcrum as the hip joint itself, the liver as the femoral neck and the power which is the abductor muscles along with the glottal trochanter. So injuries of the hip abductor mechanism can lead to inability of the active abduction at hip by the patient. It is important to know the conditions which can affect this abductor hip mechanism at various levels. So if we talk about the injuries that can lead to abductor hip mechanism insufficiency at the level of fulcrum. It is the dislocation at hip or the hip dislocation that can lead to the inability of the mechanism to function at the problem being at fulcrum. If we have a fracture neck of femur or an intertrochantric fracture neck of femur or endotrochantric fracture that could lead to a loss of the liver arm that could also lead to the hip abductor insufficiency. If somebody is having a poliomyelitis or a muscular strain where the whole of the muscle gets injured and ruptured that patient will have a loss of power and that could also lead, lead to a hip abductor mechanism insufficiency. So once these individual points or the areas of the hip adductor mechanism can be identified, they should be treated accordingly, such as the dislocation should be reduced, the fracture neck of femur or endotrochantric fracture should be fixed with the help of surgery, endotrochantric fracture can be managed conservative also. If somebody is having poliomyelitis, unfortunately the muscle power once lost cannot be brought back, so that person would present as having a treadling bug gait.